guys, welcome to Cooking Without a Clue again. Okay, 2017, the first dish on the menu is garlic prawns. A lot of people love this, you see it in a restaurant, but you wonder, oh wow, how do they do it? Well, I'm going to show you how I do it my way. Slight twist, but it's just going to taste just as nice. Um, I've got a kilo of prawns here, king prawns, homegrown. I suggest you get homegrown, that way you know it's fresher than if they were imported. So I've got a kilo of prawns there that I've peeled and deveined. Um, what I'm going to do is I've also diced up an onion. Finely, well, reasonably fine. The finer the better, because it really shouldn't have onion, but I like onion because it's got a nice flavour. Anyway, some rice for the garlic prawns uh, to, you know, like you put a bit of rice, the prawns on top, lovely. Parmesan cheese, grated, already in the bag. Some olive oil. Good quality stuff. Some cream. You can use thickened cream. You can use pouring cream, cooking cream, anything that's cream, really. Um, don't make it too thick where you have to scoop it out of the out of the tub. But cream. I was going to go fresh garlic, but I noticed in the fridge I ran out, so I'm back with the crushed garlic again. Pepper, salt, and one of these bad boys, spring onion. I've cleaned it, taken the tail off it. Got it all ready. Okay, why don't we whack this together and then uh, you'll see how it's done. Okay, here we go. We've got the olive oil. Give it a good drizzle around like that. Might look like a lot of oil, but it's not. I forgot to mention a little bit of butter just for a little bit of flavour. Wasn't quite ready. Just a little knob of butter just so that you've got a higher higher uh, burning temperature of the oil and the butter. What happens is it doesn't go black so quickly. Give that a bit of a swirl around. I've got that on about a medium heat. And then in with the prawns. Dip them in. Give them a bit of a toss around. Give these a bit of a cook for about 30 seconds. Turn it to medium heat. Just a little bit of colour. Keep moving them around. You don't want to get them stuck to the, uh, to the wok or pan or whatever you're going to use to cook it in. Okay. Now, throw in the onion straight away. Now the reason I didn't put the onion in earlier is because I don't want the onion to brown. All I want it to do is soften up, sweat down, and just cook. Cook through. I mean, you're going to get a little bit of browning. See how on the edge here it's already starting to brown up but that's alright, you just deal with it it's still going to taste pretty good get that going on grab the jar of garlic now garlic prawns means garlic prawns one two couple of good teaspoons of garlic get that in there Again, you don't want to put the garlic in first because then it'll burn. Get the prawns in there to keep the temperature of the wok down. Toss that around. It's not going to take long at all. But in the meantime, you want to get your rice on and start cooking. Okay, so we'll let that cook for about I don't know, three minutes or so, and then we'll be back. Okay guys, it's been cooking for about, probably about four minutes, and um, that's when you turn the heat down to a low, quite low, and then you take your cream and you pour the cream in. Whoa, try to keep it in the, uh, in the wok. I know it looks like a lot of cream, but when you serve that up on some rice, the rice soaks it up and it becomes a lot thicker 
it's not like a soup. May look like a soup now, but it'll thicken up. Alright. Okay. It's been cooking for about another three minutes. On about a, on a medium to low, you want it to have a little bit of a uh, simmer. Not, uh, not a boil. Definitely not a boil. It'll split. Now, it's a little grind of salt. Use the shadow. And a little grind of pepper. Just for a bit of flavour. And I'll tell you what, here comes the trick. And not many people would realise this. I mean the chefs will and people who know how to cook will. But who don't have, know how to cook won't realise this. Parmesan cheese. This makes or breaks it. Take a, a couple of decent handfuls of parmesan and just sprinkle that in after you've turned it off. Just like that. Obviously make sure your hands are clean. Give that a stir through. It'll melt in and I tell you what, you can make it without the, the um, parmesan cheese. You can taste it and then you can add parmesan cheese to it and wow the difference is unbelievable. You will never look back. Parmesan cheese makes this dish. Also gives it a little bit of a, you know, a bit of thickness. Thickness. Is that a word? Thickness? Okay. Anyway, let's serve it up with a bit of rice. We've cooked the rice up and um, see how it tastes. Okay, we've got the rice happening here. Just cooked it. All ready to go. Steaming hot still. So what we'll do is we'll scoop some of that out into a bowl. What kind of scooper is this? Hey, there we go. That's probably heaps, you know. Make a little well there going on. There we go. All right, we'll get that out of the way, and we'll uh, we'll dish it up. All right, here we go. Let's try not to get it everywhere, eh? A little bit more. There we go. There's a good serve for one person. So far, so good. We'll move that out of the way. We'll cut up a little bit of spring onion. Cut it on an angle. Not too much, just a little bit. Over the top. Be nice if I had some red spring onion, but they don't exist. There it is. Garlic prawns on a bed of rice. Little spring onions on top just to add a little extra flavour. Ready to eat. There we have it. Garlic prawns. See how we get. Let's go. <laughs> People pay money for this at the restaurant. Pretty good. Mm. Probably needs a little more salt, but you can salt that to taste. Garlic, garlic to taste. I like it. Cream, it's nice, beautiful. It'll keep the family happy. Everyone in my lo my family loves garlic prawns, so I hope this recipe is going to help you, and everyone in your family is going to love the garlic prawns as well. We'll see you next time on Cooking Without a Clue.